Is there anything that you are doing that exciting? You want to share with me and the audience so together we can celebrate with you in advance. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, well, that's a great question. So thinking about the future, two things. One, um, we have uh, sent a proposal forward in the State University of New York, which is the uh, second largest university system in, in the U.S., uh, 500,000 students, 64 campuses. Uh, we have proposed a doctoral program in creativity. So one of the few doctoral programs in creativity, but it would be the first that's a doctorate of professional studies. So very much an applied doctorate, not a not a PhD doctorate of philosophy. It's called the DPS doctorate of professional studies in creativity and change leadership. So uh, think good thoughts and, and um, hopefully this will um, come to fruition and if so in a year or two we will be bringing in a, a class of doctoral students mid-career professionals who are looking to study at the highest level to earn a doctoral degree from Buffalo State University in creativity and change leadership um, so that's that's hugely exciting and, and um, I look forward to uh, advancing from master's degree to uh, to a DPS the other thing that I'm working on is a book contract with Palgrave Macmillan on creativity in higher education. And we're reviewing or, or asking contributors around the world at universities um, that have programs in creativity. And we have found about 50 of them to write chapters on what they do to promote creativity among their students. So uh, what courses they teach, what's their degree program, uh, all about how do they focus on creativity? How do they facilitate creativity among their students? Because the reality is, while the field has grown from one program, our program at Buffalo State, you know, in the mid 1970s, it was the first program of its kind in the world. There are about 50 or so programs now, undergraduate, graduate programs, but there are thousands of universities around the world in Vietnam. Um, you know, I, I don't know of any creativity programs in Vietnam. If any of your listeners know of a university that has a, a program in creativity, would love to have a contributor from a university in Vietnam participate in this book. But the ultimate dream is to make this book inspirational. So university professors and university administrators and university presidents look at this and say, we should have a program like that here. Wow. We need to do that for our students. That's the real aspiration behind this book. It's to celebrate the fact that we have 50 some programs around the world, but 50 out of thousands of universities is a very small percentage. We want every university to have courses and programs in creativity. So uh, think, think good thoughts about that because we are trying to change the nature of university education to bring more creativity to their students. Wow. 